Welcome, Gemini, to Petrella's Intuitive Insights. This is a brief overview of July 1st to the 15th of 2024. <clears throat> what a calm, beautiful day. And then out of nowhere, the wind gusts up and cards are flying everywhere. For those of you that are new to my channel, <clears throat> I actually am a psychic medium and I just got into introduced to cards um oh god just in my 40s when i was in my 40s so as i'm getting into the gemini energy i really feel that it's your confidence you're going to be using your magic if you will in your life you're going to realize that you have everything you need and you you will make it work. You're going to, you know what's best for you too, Gemini. Uh, do you, the wind, right? Those chimes, right? Major changes for the Gemini. Major changes, not once, but twice. So look, you need to use your magic and maintain your miracles self-respect you know what's good for you for some of you two places not sure what that means there gemini what do the gemini need to know as they're listening to this video hold on one second i will get that pertaining to love, romance, and relationships. Okay, so here we go. And here we go. Let me grab these cards. Make sure these ones don't fly away. The first card that did fly out was your health. So you need to take care of your health because if you don't have your health, you don't have anything else. If you don't have your health, you have, you don't have anything else. So you need to take care of your health like it's a part-time job. You're going to have to put old habits, uh, the way you used to do things, figure out what's not working in your life, Gemini, and do the opposite. Some of you are just going to say, hey, uh, I'm just going to, I'm just going to do this and you're gonna do it, and you're gonna be more than fine. Look, for some of you uh, that with this health card, remember we are mind, body, and spirit, so your biography does become a part of your biology. So there you go is also a key. It does work out in your favor because <laughs> you can see, and this is the mountain card, Okay, so you're gonna be able to see what you need to see. Love, romance, relationship, Gemini. Look, these cards are jumping out. Here again, right in front is that bear, which is also a healing card. So it's all about your health and the healing, becoming stronger. And look, here's celebration because you're going to succeed. This is love, romance, and relationship. Uh, I get it. This may not resonate with all of you, but it does for many of you. I really appreciate the private readings. I get to know you all over the world. It's really cool. But back to the Gemini you are going to succeed this is going to be a very successful time for you i'm going to go ahead and put these cards back into the deck in different areas of the deck and shuffle okay Gemini, career finance. Oftentimes they intertwine uh, relationships and uh, finance. 
Gemini. What do the Gemini need to know as they're listening to this video pertaining to finance? I'll get that in a minute. July 1st to the 15th of 2024. Spirit, tell us more. Okay, here's a lot of cards here. But I'm going to go ahead and take them all. A card fell down on the ground. Look, this is the first card. This is about finance. It's looking good. It's looking good. So just know that's the first card that came out. The second card that came out is something was broken. This is where I feel that you're taking a second look of what was broken and you're fixing it. <laughs> it's going to bring celebration because now you know that this is the, the path that you need to go. It's causing com the conflict in your life. You're fixing it. And you're fixing that strife, right, Gem Gemini? Here's the other last card that flipped out. It's going totally in your favor. But if you keep doing what you're doing, you're gonna keep getting what you're getting. Capiche. Gemini, I'd like to um, see the strength and the weakness when I do my private reading. So this is Gemini, this is your strength. During this particular time, the Gemini strength. Wow, okay. And this is the Gemini shadow side. What you need to work on, Gemini. The shadow side of the Gemini. Okay, now, this is your strength during this particular time. You always manifest what you need. Always. Always. <laughs> or you wouldn't have got this far, right, Gemini? Did you see how calm it is now? It's so calm. It's such a beautiful, beautiful day here. It's going to be that for you. You're ready for more. This is, you know what? Your career is growing and prospering. This is what you need to work on. Are you ready for more? Are you focused, organized, disciplined, Gemini? Are you clearing out what doesn't work and trying something that may work? With that, uh, if this... Oh, I wanted to do <clears throat> another reading. I got these cards. They're from New Zealand. I'm learning more because of the viewers that are teaching me that are from the Maori tribe. The Maori tribe. I know I'm Ma Maori tribe. And they're the uh, indigenous people of New Zealand. And I use these cards because I can actually do a whole reading with one of these cards. So Gemini, show us. What does the Gemini in love and light show us what they need to do what's right, the Gemini, during July 1st to the 15th of 2024? And there we go. You know what? This is flipped inside out too, so I'm going to take it. Look, these cards flipped out, so I need to pay attention to them. This is your ancestors. <clears throat> Do you have somebody watching over you? A father, a grandfather, mother, a grandmother, a loved one of some sort watching over you. Um, the feather cloak. It's number one. I am going to read these a little bit from the book, so we both get you guys are great you have a lot of you okay this is number 19 the P 
Pika 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 All right, let's go on. Let's see what these mean. Number 19. <clears throat> Pika Pika Intuition, psychic insight, dreams, visions, mysteries, night sight, second sight. Oh my god. It's about your psychic abilities. <clears throat> Number one. Ooh. Number one is the feather cloak, Koro, Koro, Koroa, Koroa. New growth, blessings. Blessings, fertility, fruition, sanctuary, warmth, shelter. What a blessing, Gemini. Oh my goodness. Here it is. And the 12, Tico Tico ancestor. This is number 12. Inheritance, legacy spiritual heritage, ancestral powers, conservation. This is what I mean. This pretty much sums up this whole reading. You uh, that would like a private reading, patrellasintuitiveinsights.com listed in the link below. Uh, those of you that could help my channel by clicking the like, share, subscribe button. It's fast. It's free. It really does help me. I'm trying to get this channel to grow. And um, with that, God bless you.